Hey, welcome to the DIY McLeod channel. Thanks for checking out the video. In this video, I'm gonna be looking at a 3D printed driver that I made the other day. As you can see, I'm testing it on my home simulator. This is not a complex simulator. It does test the swing speed fairly well. So as you can see, I'm around 85 miles per hour. You can also see I'm blocking out a project I was working on. And so I'm not showing that just yet. That'll be a future video. It is the most complex project I've worked on, CNC, 3D printing, coding. So we'll look at that a different day. Be sure to check out the channel, subscribe if you're hoping to see that video in the future. Let's take about a minute to go over the printing process and we'll get back to the actual hitting. I chose PETG at 100% infill to make it extremely strong and also allow myself to sand down certain areas and change the overall dimensions of the driver. I started with 3D printing, then I got a CNC machine, and as you saw earlier in the video, that project where I created an automatic golf teeing machine, that is a complex project, and to be able to do that at home is only due to the fact I have a 3D printer and CNC in combination. So a lot of the aluminum was cut on my CNC, and the PETG was through my 3D printer. I made sure that the shaft had an angle to enter into the driver head. So it's at a pretty steep angle, but that's about what I calculated a driver to be close, maybe a little too steep. But what it does is it allows the shaft to be behind the PETG and gives it a lot of room to get the epoxy in there. I did this video because I've seen other YouTubers create 3D printed drivers that failed every time. And I knew it was because they weren't using 100% infill or PETG, and they also weren't giving the shaft enough room to sit in the club. My shot with a standard driver, I'm about like 220 to 250 I'd say on average. With the one I created, the 3D printed driver, I was around, 194 is generous. I would say I was around anywhere from 120 to that 194 mark. I was really impressed though. I thought the longest hit I would have would be the 100 yard mark. So this is a quick video, but I hit about 25 golf balls with it and it lasted. No dents on it really. There's barely any marks from the golf ball and the surface is still flat and uh, it worked well. I was swinging full swings. One thing it did is have a slice. I think that is just because of the angles in my original design and that's my fault but worked better than I thought it would. If you have questions or comments about 3D printing if you're thinking of getting into it feel free to leave those. Consider clicking subscribe. It would really help me out with the channel. I'd like to keep growing the channel as quick as possible. So far so good but every subscription helps. 